It was Rochester Mail who had surprised some by defeating Blaine and Cambridge to advance to the finals. They would meet the Ponies, led by perhaps the best defense in Stillwater history. Opening possession, Mayo on the move at the Pony 30, but Ryan Pletcher intercepts and takes it back 49 yards to the Mayo 31-yard line. He extends his school record with his 12th interception of the year. Ponies waste little time. Third and nine at the Mayo 20. The draw to Aaron Runk, good for 10, and a first down at the Mayo 10-yard line. Three plays later, they're on the two, and Runk goes in for the touchdown. Ponies in front, 7-0 midway through the first quarter. Second quarter, Ponies with a chance to add to the lead, but on fourth and goal from the two, Bill McGlynn is stopped. Mayo stays in the game. Ponies on the move again, less than three minutes to go in the half. Justin Hess hits Adam Runk, appears to be a touchdown. The officials spot him at the one yard line. Ponies can't punch it in. Danielson's 18 yard field goal makes it 10 nothing. Three seconds to go. Mayo decides to try the fumble ruski on the final play of the half and it backfires. Croy Johnson scoops it up and goes in for the touchdown. 17 to nothing in favor of the Ponies. And Stillwater put this game away on the opening possession of the third quarter after a 41 yard return by Gabe Elwine. Very first play, Hess to run for 27. Second play, McGlynn to the left, 13 yards, and it's a first down at the Mayo four yard line after a face masking penalty. And on the next play, Runk goes in for the touchdown, three plays, 49 yards, 42 seconds, and the Ponies put it away. That made it 24 to nothing. They go on to win it 31 to seven. Spartans got their touchdown on a fumble return in the final minute, so the Ponies would have had their seventh shutout of the year. Stillwater rushes for 145 yards in the game. They hold the Spartans to 14 yards through the air and just 147 yards of total offense. 50 of those came on Mayo's opening drive. <laughs>